grand rising grand rising it's going to be another hot day here probably in the hundreds again as you can see um, what you're looking at is one of my quail hutches I have two this is the first one I built I'm currently probably going to finish up building another one today made up made out of a cut and a half IBC tote and as you can see I have baby quail in here my baby quail that hatch uh, they started hatching on the 25th they're still hatching they started hatching at 22 days and the reason why I think they hatched at 22 days is because I didn't have the temps right I had the temps too low I had the temps at 97.8 and it should have been at 100 so instead of taking 18 days it took 22 days for the first chick to hatch so that was my fault but these guys are healthy I'm probably having um, uh, probably about a 36% hatch rate out of all the eggs I got, but that's okay. It's not the uh, it's not it's not the fault of the uh, uh, people I got the eggs from. It's mostly my fault, and it could be attributed also to uh, they were they were hatched the, the eggs were actually laid on uh, and shipped on July the, uh, they were laid on July the fourth. I'm sorry, they were laid on July the fourth they were shipped out on July the 5th and it was real hot so that could attribute to it too but I think it's mostly my fault because as you can see the chicks are eating um, that's mostly my fault because I had the temp set, set uh, my incubator set at 97.8 it should have been at between 99 and 100 so this is my first time doing this I'm still happy because I got chicks after my first time and as you can see, they're happily eating. I'm going to open this up. Hopefully, they don't run. And what I'll do is, they're in this tub right now. But when they get two weeks, they'll come out of this tub, and they'll just be in the, uh, they'll be in this inside here, in the uh, quail hutch. So for right now they're in the tub because they're too small to put in here to put in here yet so I put their tub inside of here and as you can see I have a, a micro fan powered USB micro fan powered by a, uh, one of my small solar power generators or or a USB storage battery either or this thing runs all day 24 hours easily it probably takes about I'm thinking one to two kilowatts worth of power an hour <laughs> I'm thinking gives a nice cool breeze in here it keeps the uh, inside of the huts ventilated I might add another one because I got four I bought four of these so I might add one on this side too, the other side get cross ventilation plenty of ventilation they keep cool my hutch is under the covered uh, patio porch here and the uh, the chicks are doing fine as you can see I still have chicks hatching in the incubator so I'll be bringing some more chicks out today to place in here and they get a little bit stronger to come out of the incubator So I'm going to secure this back up, place the other board on top, put the bricks on top of the boards, these boards I have here. And uh, keeps the predators out. And everything's looking good. This is Regenerative Life Wayne 69. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, share, and I'll be back. Have a nice, nice Wednesday morning, folks.